All right, guys, so welcome back for another Dokkan battle video. And today, what we're going to be doing is making a tier list for the uh, Dokkan um, LRs that were released in 2020. Um, again, I did my research and I made sure the cutoff is beginning with first form cell. Uh, this first form cell he dropped on the 1st of January of 2020. So, again, all the LRs, you know, before him, I'm not going to count in this tier list. Again, this is specifically 2020. Um, I even put them in complete order. Again, this is the order in which the LRs were released. Um, again, the reason why Prime Battle Vegeta is here is because, again, in this tier list that this person made, it, they did not include uh, Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta, so he's going to be his stand-in. Uh, same thing with the uh, original Super Saiyan 2 LR Gohan. Again, the tech one that uh, you know just released over here, but unfortunately, uh, the guy does not have the image of the character. So again, he, uh, this uh, original Gohan is going to be uh, you know, standing in, um, in his place as well. And as well, we're going to be talking about some units that I personally don't have, so I can't necessarily rate, you know, very accurately. Uh, some of them, I have their details pulled up here so that, you know, I can kind of remind myself of what they do. Like for, like, for example, Spirit Bomb Goku, again, unless you've logged in for the game for 2000 days, you're really not going to have a really good concept of how his EZA worked or how he is now. So again, we have uh, Z, S, A, B, C, and D. Again, those are the tier lists that I decided to go with. Again, most of these LRs and all of them have their usability, have their versatility. Um, that's why I didn't really want to go with E and F tier, because again, I do think that these LRs are all very good in their own right, except for Piccolo. Uh, Piccolo just is very bad. Uh, so again, that's basically uh, how we're going to start it off. So starting with this cell, I would say that this cell is a very solid unit. Uh, he goes in A tier. On his 12 key, he heals. On his 18 key, he lowers attack and defense. Um, again, he is a prime battle LR. We have to remember that he does not have percentages. He just has flat out, you know, like 20,000 to attack, you know, 20,000 to defense. That's basically how the prime battles work. Uh, again, he gets stronger if the enemy is in the attack down or defensive down status, which of course, uh, you know, in, on, you know, if he, if you get his 18 key and then he double supers, he's going to do more damage. Because again, his 18 key, he lowers attack and defense. Uh, and then, let's talk about LR God Goku. I think God Goku is going to be our first S tier unit. Again, when he released, he... I mean, even now, he's still a very good unit. Of course, there are other LRs that have released um, that kind of have... That, that kind of, you know, outshined him. Especially when you factor in the fact that... Again, his main usability when he first released was for difficult content. But now that we have units like uh, LR UI Goku Jiren... Um, of course you can still, you know, use him in those difficult events, but he's kind of been almost a little bit forgotten, I would say. Again, LR got a Goku, he raises defense on his super attack, I think it is for 3 or 6 turns. Um, he has a 50% chance to dodge, a 50% chance to crit, so he's still very good. Um, again, that's why he deserves S tier, but the, the only downside is he has, you know, been forgotten, um, I, I would say. Next one is LR Team Bardock. Now this LR Team Bardock is B tier. Uh, again, they're a decent unit. They're not the best. Uh, again, you can't really have them at 100% yet. You can't have them fully rainbowed. Um, I only think you can get them rainbowed on JP right now. But here on Global at 55%, um, again, you know, the truth made a video on them, you know, because of, uh, you know, courtesy of Hydros. Uh, you know, they weren't super impressive. Again, they are a free-to-play LR, just like the LR Ginyu Goku. So, again, don't really expect a whole lot from them. But, again, they were super kind of unimpressive. And so, again, they're, like, a decent free-to-play option for sure. But, again, they're not, like, super astounding or, like, super, you know, really usable kind of like uh, Cell is. So, that's why he goes in B. Uh, this LR King Cold, uh, Mecha Freeze and King Cold. I'm going to put them in A tier. Again, I personally have them. I've used them. They're at 55% for me. Of course, you can now rainbow them over here on Global. Uh, you know, they're very good for sure. You know, I don't want to slander them. They are a very good unit. Um, I believe it is on their 12 key, they lower attack. On their 18 key, I think they lower defense. Again, it has been a while since I've used them. Um, you know, I did use them for my run on Extreme STR, which again, they performed very, very well. The only issue is they are kind of limited to Wicked Bloodline. Uh, they get an extra 66% attack and defense if they're on a Wicked Bloodline based team. So again, they are limited towards that team. But again, that's not a bad thing because, you know, most of their links are focused around Wicked Bloodline uh, based units. And with the link level up system, you know, they've gotten a huge buff from that. 
Uh, my only complaint is that they didn't get big bad bosses. It is like the only link that they got shafted from. But again, they're a decent option. They hit pretty hard. Again, I've seen them hit like almost 3 million at 55%. So again, they can put up good numbers. Um, you know, it does require a little bit of setup and they have to be on a Wicked Bloodline team. And especially when they're facing, I think it is a Pure Sands, they get like six or seven keys. So, you know, and Pure Sands is like a large part of this game. So uh, that does count when it when I when I you know evaluate them. Uh, Spirit Bomb Goku, I think he is going to be our first ever Z tier unit. Now Spirit Bomb Goku again. Actually, I think I might bump him down to S tier. Uh, people might get mad at this for me. You know, mad at me for doing this, but I do have my reasons for putting him on S tier instead of Z tier. Uh, Spirit Bomb Goku, he is a good unit. Again, I'm not going to deny that. He is a good unit. My only issue is that you have to get his 12th key if you want him to have solid defense. Now, now I know people can, you know, will you know, we'll say, you know, Spirit Bomb Goku has decent defense. And, you know, although that may be true, you know, at Rainbowed, you know, he may be at 130, 120k. But again, that's not going to cut it when you're talking about Super Battle Road, and especially Extreme Super Battle Road, where you're probably going to want to use him. Yes, on his 18 key, he does, uh, I believe it is seal and lower attack. But again, he's still going to hit, rel he's, he's still going to get hit re uh, relatively hard. And again, only if you get, you know, his 12 key where he greatly raises his defense, is he really going to be, you know, fine defensively, or if you're using items. Now, uh, that's not to say he is bad by any means you know he, he's still very good he still hits very hard but again i like to think of you know really really good units uh being super super dominant in like um you know the hardest content in the game which is extreme super battle road right now um i am gonna switch their order around i do think spirit bomb goku is better than god Go than god goku in my opinion uh so yeah again god go no spirit bomb <laughs> spirit bomb goku is like on that little uh kind of like in between point of s and z where you know you could really put him in either one depending on how you personally feel about the unit and i personally feel you know he is good but again he's not like super ridiculously you know crazy so that's why he's going to be an s tier ui goku first z tier unit again i don't really need to talk much about him 70 percent chance to dodge i think it's for eight turns and then a 50 percent ch uh, chance to dodge he builds up key, he, he builds up attack and defense when he dodges, so again, enough said. He's Z tier. I don't really need to go that deep into him. Now, Krillin. Uh, Krillin is going to be the first free-to-play LR and S tier. Uh, Krillin is an extremely good unit. He leads Earthlings with 150%, so again, that is a very, very good uh, leader skill right there. Easily the best out of the prime battles. He raises defense on his 18 key. And then he has a chance to stun on his 12 key and his 12 keys in AoE, which makes him extremely valuable in Super Battle Road, which again, I give extra points to as well as World Tournament. You know, he's just an overall really, really good unit. Um, of course, again, you have to raise his defense on his um, 18 key, which is the only issue I can see with him. A uh, similar thing with uh, Spear Bomb Absorbed Goku, where it's kind of the opposite, where Goku needs his 12 key, Krillin needs his 18 key. So again, they are very dependent on additionals in, in order to uh, really see their full potential, you know, with raising their defense, in, in Krillin's case, uh, getting his AoE and stunning, in Spear Bomb Goku's case, it is sealing, lowering attack, and then getting his defense. Uh, so again, Krillin, very good unit, easily one of the better free-to-play units in this game, and that's why he is there. Alright, LR Nap and Vegeta. Now, I've recently gotten LR Nap and Vegeta. Um, I even did a showcase on them if you're curious about that. Again, at 55%, they were very impressive for me, and I know many people may not like this or, you know, heavily disagree with this, you know, which is fine, you know, uh, everybody has their opinion, but at the end of the day, you cannot deny that they are a very, very dominant unit in the hardest content in the game. Again, Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road, you know, uh, Infinite Dragon Ball History, Legendary Goku event, the fact that they greatly raised their defense on their 18 key and raise it on their 12 key means you are going to be fine defensively no matter what in super battle road again you might want to go for the 12 key because again it's an aoe but you do have that option of choosing either aoe or better defense which i think is a really really good design choice that they uh went with the uh, napa and vegeta and again uh, vegeta comes out on the fourth turn if you're under i believe it is 50 percent 
HP, which again is not a hard condition to fulfill if you're in Super Battle Road and Extreme Super Battle Road, where again, the bosses hit extremely hard, you're most likely going to fall under that HP threshold. So again, that's really not going to be an issue for them. And then on the third turn, Nappa gets an active skill where he gets guaranteed dodging. The only issue is he does cut his defense by, uh, not his defense, but his attack by 50%. But he makes up for that in his passive where he gets an additional 78% attack if he dodges. So again, they are kind of balanced in that way where again, Nappa, third turn, he dodges everything. He does cut his own attack, but in his passive, he has built an extra attack if he dodges. So, you know, honestly, I think they're a very, very well designed unit and don't really deserve all the hate that they get. Uh, next unit, let's talk about the blue fusions. Again, I'm going to talk about them as if they were basically the same unit, which they are. Uh, again, they go in Z tier. Again, the reason why they go in Z tier is not necessarily because of their performance in Super Battle Road or in those types of uh, content. Again, they get absolutely destroyed in Super Battle Road. Again, they take like 100k per normal hit. Again, I've tried a couple runs in Final Trump Card they get hit extremely hard unless you put them in spot three where again in spot three they're going to have their 50 percent chance to dodge i mean in their base forms they may not be as impressive as we would have liked but again once you get them to transform and you take them into the longer events like the legendary goku event they absolutely dominate they destroy they obliterate the event there's nothing that they can that can stop them once they get going and that's why they're in z tier you know, it's, I, I mean, it is pretty hard for me, uh, you know, not really hard for me, but I know some people might disagree with this for sure. But again, I think with all that, you know, all the other stuff that they do, the fact that they're just so good after they transform, it's just like, they deserve to be in Z tier. Okay. Now we're going to talk about Zamasu Goku. Now Zamasu Goku is, I think on the same level as Krillin. Uh, he is a very good unit. He hits really hard, you know, after he got his EZA. Um, the only downside or issue I have with this unit is, again, he needs to finish off enemies in order to get the second part of his passive, where he gets an additional 59% attack and defense per enemy he has killed. So he needs to kill a total of three enemies in order to get that extra 59% attack and defense. But when he does, he actually has moderate defense and he has pretty good attack you know, for free to play LR. So again, overall, Zamasu Goku is very, very solid. Um, he is a runnable option if you want to use in Super Battle Road. Of course, again, he will get hit relatively hard. Uh, well, not relatively hard. He, he will get hit moderately hard. Of course, you know, if you use items and all that, you know, if you're not trying to know item it, then I wouldn't recommend him. But if you are going to use items, then I would recommend him as an option in Super Battle Road. Next unit, Rosé and chi and lemo so the part two lrs of the fifth year anniversary rose you go into s tier chi and lemo you go into z tier so the reason why rose even though again i'm very biased towards rose i absolutely love the character but the reason why he's an s tier is because the only way he can be extremely good and dominant is if you have level 10 big bad bosses active for him Again, Big Bad Bosses is that one link, 25% attack and defense that changes everything about, um, you know, any type of unit, whether it be, you know, the LR, uh, the OG LR Bojack, you know, whether, uh, whether it be any type of villain based unit like Cooler and or anything, level 10 Big Bad Bosses is going to make a difference in how the unit overall performs. Now, Rosé, again, the, his basic mechanic is he needs a lot of key. And that, I think, is what kills him and restricts him from being into Z tier. The fact that he needs a lot of orbs, which can increases his attack and defense, kills the unit. Because you're not always going to be able to get him a lot of key and a lot of orbs. Unlike, you know, the blue fusions. Let's take them, for example. Gogeta, when he's in his, in his blue form, gets five key when he super attacks. Vegito, in his blue form, gets three. In their base form, I believe both of them get 3 or 4 key. So again, you may get them at, say, 9 key. But again, they get key when they super attack, so they're going to get a super attack off anyways. Rosé, on the other hand, if you're stuck at 9 key because you can't get a super attack, well, you're stuck there. There's nothing you can do. And he's, you know, not going to be able to raise his defense, which he does on both super attacks. 
Though I think on the 18Q one, he does greatly raise it. Uh, and again, he's gonna get hit hard. Because number one, lack of orbs and lack of a, uh, lack of a super attack where he gets his defense. So again, that's the reason why he's in um, S tier. But again, he still hits very hard. Again, I think that needs to be said. He hits extremely hard. And I think he goes uh, below God of Goku. Because again, God of Goku can still dodge. He can still, you know, crit. You know, he still has solid defense. Chi Lai and Lemo. Um, again, they're the most fun, interesting character I've ever had the pleasure of uh, using. They're so fun. They're so wonky. And again, the only downside to them is categories. They are only on movie bosses and joined forces, which I think is so stupid. Um, the fact that they shafted him from... I think they even could have put, you know, maybe... Um, maybe not Bond of Master and Disciple. That wouldn't really work, but... Um, I don't know, they could have like easily put him like 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 put him on, you know, I don't even know what categories could they put them on uh put him on because again, you know, Dokkan makes all these weird obscure categories for like no reason. Uh I mean when Bojack comes out, they could put him on maybe space traveling warriors for all I care. You know, it's not a bad thing, but again, they are shafted from categories because of the way that the unit is designed where it's Chilai, Lemo, and Broly. Um I couldn't come up with categories off the top of my head, but again, I feel like you could give them a couple categories. And the fact that they give defense with tech and in orbs makes them really good. Attack on AGL and STR orbs makes them really good. And if you get seven orbs, they one they have a 100% chance to dodge, makes them really, really fun and really, really good in Super Battle Road. And they also greatly raise their defense on both 12 and 18 key super attack, and they get more key when getting a uh, physical and rainbow key sphere so all of that in one unit makes them extremely good next up is the worldwide download celebration units um, again we all know what they can do we all know how amazing this vegeto is we all know how amazing this boo uh this boo tanks is you know very very good boo tanks and especially when boo Hana comes out you know get out of the way they're going to destroy everything there's nothing you can do to stop them this vegeto best defensive unit in the game by a mile has solid defense raises its uh, raises their defense has damage reduction can transform into vegeto vegeto 4c super attack for 10 turns so overall phenomenal unit i don't even have anything to criticize them about and boo who tanks he raises defense he has crazy start of turn defense the fact uh, the fact on turn four he can just immediately uh transform into boo han of course, you have to be above 50% HP, but again, that's not really that bad of a condition. So, again, Boo Tanks, Boo Han, very, very strong units. You know, they're, in my opinion, the two top units in the game right now um, in terms of Dokkan Fest LRs, because again, Jiren being a regular LR, I think, does compete with them. Super Saiyan 2 Angel uh, Vegeta, of course, being represented by Prime Battle uh, Vegeta. I think he belongs in S tier. Again, he has the same mechanic as Rosé, where the more orbs you give him, uh, the more attack and defense he gets. And the other issue he has is Spirit Bomb Goku's problem, where he gets defense on his 12 key, but the way he's built, you want to get his 24 key or his 18 key, because again, the more orbs, the more attack and defense, which then conflicts with the fact that you really want to get uh, his 12 key as well, where, again, he raises his defense, but... Uh, again, the other issue is he gets all of his defense and attack on super attack, so it's really hard to tell what defensive stat he's at. But, I mean, I've seen him in some um, events, you know, I've used him a bit, and he does tank pretty well. Um, so, again, he should have solid attack and defense after he supers, especially if you get his 24 key. So, again, Angel Vegeta uh, deserves the S tier spot. Of course, he, I mean, he would be Z tier if he also greatly raises his defense on his uh, 18 key but I think he only raises it on his 12 key which I I think really kills it for him but again you know very good unit very solid uh, still an amazing unit to this day and then this is the first unit I'm going to pull up their details to kind of review so you are here again I have this um, LR Kid Gohan I just don't have him easy aid I haven't beaten a single one of the extreme super battle road stages nor do I plan on doing it until um, I really have the proper units, I would say, in order to, you know, completely be able to beat it. Alright, 
So uh, he is all types three key 120 percent already amazing because again this is going to be so helpful to every single free to play uh, player out there because it's all types. It's not restricted to a uh, to a category or to a type, which is really good. Uh, power pull. He has a medium chance of stunning on his 12 key, which is decent. Again, that got a buff, which is now a 30% chance to stun. Yep, for two turns. That's really, really good. He greatly raises attack and defense for one turn. 18 key, super, super good. Key to fate, two key, 77% attack and defense at the start of turn. Really solid, because again, with his stats, that's going to translate to very good defense and attack. Uh, he gets seven key and an, and an additional 58% attack and disables enemies guard. So again, he's basically going to be type neutral against every single enemy. When HP is 58% or less, so again, that is unfortunate where it does have an HP restriction. And then reduces damage by 58% if there's a Goku, excluding youth, Captain Ginyu, and Junior, attacking in the same turn. So, again, I think I am going to put this guy in Z tier. Uh, after reading everything that he does, I think he does deserve being in Z tier. Even though, again, he has to have a Goku with him if you want that damage reduction. Goku is the most abundant character in this game. It is not hard to fulfill. This guy counts. The Goku and Vegeta, they count. Look how many Gokus we have already on this list. We have LRUI Goku, Spirit Bomb, God, and uh, Goku and Vegeta. So, again, a lot of Gokus, you know, just in the form of LRs being released. So, not a hard condition to uh, get at all. Okay, so let's get rid of this. And the next unit is Hercule, and then we'll talk about Demon King Piccolo. Okay, so Hercule I've actually used. Uh, Hercule, I think, deserves to be an A tier. Um, again, I'll explain that later. And then you are S tier. So let's talk about Hercule. And I think Hercule is actually better than all these guys. So Hercule, after his easy A, come on. You know, let's just do this because it's not trying. There we go. But then let's do this because... Cell, I think, is better than uh, King Cold and Frieza. So, Hercule, again, maybe I, it's it's wrong of me to put him in A tier, but again, he's kind of like in that same thing with Spirit Bomb Goku, where I think he's kind of like in Limbo, where he can be in either one S or A, depending on how you really feel about the unit. Uh, my only issue with him is, again, you have to get the 18 key super attack to 24 in order to get his defense. Uh, another issue being is his passive is pretty RNG based where he does have, you know, a 70% chance to get, like, 7 key and extra attack. But again, you can get unlucky, you know, I've gotten it for several turns where he, that just does not activate for me, and he really, really lacks key. Um, again, when you get it off, uh, Hercule, if he's in the right situation, is, like, already going to have an 18 key super attack um, in basically his kit, but, you know, he is pretty orb-dependent and RNG-based, I would say. Even though, again, it is a 70% chance, so it is in your favor, you know, you can get ex extremely unlucky, and it won't activate for you. And unless you get that 18 key, you know, Hercule is going to get hit really, really hard. And his numbers really aren't the best. Um, of course, you know, even before his EZA, he didn't really hit very hard. But again, I feel like now in 2020, LRs, like, kind of have to hit hard in order to, you know, be really impressive. But again, if they hit hard and have good defense, that's even better, like UI Goku. Uh, and then Demon King Piccolo, again, I absolutely love the unit. The only issue is you need five orbs in order to get his damage reduction in his, in, in his old form. So Demon King Piccolo old, which is this one. Once he transforms, he gets a free, I think it is 65 or 66% damage reduction for five turns. And then afterwards, it, it goes down to 58 uh, still very good. Again, the only issue is he needs to transform against a Dragon Ball Saga or a Dragon Ball Seekers category um, enemy. And then he transforms on turn 7 um, if you're not fighting them. So again, that is the biggest downfall to him is what I would say. Alright, and then we're up to Kaioken Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta. And then we have the Tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, of course, being represented by the OG LR uh, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, because again, he doesn't have him here, so uh, we're going to go with this. So they're going to go, I would say, an, a, um, an S tier. Again, the same issue with uh, Piccolo is they're extremely orb hungry. 
Also, their category that they brought out, the All Out Struggle, just sucks. But other than that, they are very good. They hit very hard. The fact that they greatly raise defense on Super Attack is very good. But they need Rainbow Orbs. And the issue is, on their team, as well as on their teams that they're on, there aren't that many Rainbow Orb Changers, which is the biggest issue for them. That is the only reason why they're an S tier. If they had better Rainbow Orb Changers, and the fact that maybe they weren't so orb dependent and orb hungry, then they would be a little bit up. I mean, if, I mean, they would be in Z tier if, if that was the case, but in terms of their S tier rank, they're, again, just Spirit Bomb Goku. They're on that level in between. It just really, re uh, you know, revolves around personal taste. And actually, let me rearrange some of these just in case. So you, I think it should go up here. Boo Piccolo, you should be up there as well. Fusion, actually no, Nap and Vegeta are better than the Fusions because again, they're until turn four to transform. So that does kind of kill them. Uh, you know, Broly, Chi, Line, Lemo, you guys are actually fine where you guys are. And then this kid Gohan, again, I would say is better than the Fusions turn one. Is The only issue with the Fusions is again, the fact that they have to wait until turn four to transform. And when they transform, you know, it, you know it's just all over. Uh, you know, for whoever you're fighting. And, oh, wait, I forgot to talk about Gohan. Uh, so Gohan, I think, is A tier. And before anyone <laughs> starts, you know, just coming after me for this decision, you guys are going to see why. All right. Actually, you know what? I'm so dumb. No, they belong. <laughs> he belongs in S tier. Boom. There he goes. So he's S tier. Again, the only reason why I'm going to put him on here is his very, very big lack of defense. So I actually do have this guy. Uh, he's on my JP account. I have used him. Again, uh, my JP account will be making its appearance um, over on my channel, of course, when the anniversary happens and when the, my account is a little bit better, because right now it is a, a, a little bit lacking. But again, I have used him. He does put up pretty good numbers at 55%. I've seen him hit. I mean, for me, he's hit like two, like two million plus is basically the benchmark. Two, two million plus is the benchmark for him. He hits extremely hard. Um, but the only issue is again his defense. He may hit hard, but if you turn and look at his links, like just love, just level one links. Most of this is basically attack, except for like a couple of them, like Gaze of Respect. No one has that except like Piccolo units and. You know, on the teams that he's on, the only one that you could get that with is Bond of Master and Disciple. Um, all in the family, again, not many units have this link. This is like a very specific link. I believe it is uh, a link that usually base Gokus have. Or uh, actually, let's just take a, take a quick look at the link. Because again, most of the units nowadays don't really have all in the family. Let's take a quick look at it. Because again, if you can get that link active, it's super, super good. I know Dokkan Fest AGL Bardock has it, which is a big reason why I, I like running both of them together, because they have really good defense when they're next to each other. But, um, if the Dokkan Wiki could load, that'd be awesome. Um, I'll take a look at it later, but... Mm, Alright, load now? Oh, here we go. Nice. Alright, so there are decent units, again, but most of them are not exactly the best again you could run him together again that's a really good combination but most of these units you're probably not going to be running again ultimate gohan is a really good uni uh, unit on here that's actually you know what i changed my mind let's go back let's put gohan in z tier i, I know i'm going all over the place but again he does deserve uh, z tier now that i'm really looking at it he really does deserve Z tier. Again, um, after looking at it, you know his links are decent. Again, I can't uh, hate on him for that. Gaze of Respect on the family. Again, Gaze of Respect is the only one you really can't get on the family. You most likely will just based off the units that I saw. Um, but yeah, this guy actually really does deserve Z tier. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I saved myself from a bunch of ridicule. But um, again, raising defense on both 12 and 18 key. The fact that he has this active skill, which again, the only downside is it has an HP restriction and it has a category restriction, which is 
a movie hero Goku. And it's not as bad um, as many people would think. Again, you have Tech God Goku, uh, you have LR Spirit Bomb Absorbed Goku, who you two can run on a rotation together. They're going to share many links together like Legendary Power, Prepared for Battle, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Warrior Ray, Shattering the Limit. Again, <laughs> Gaze of Respect, no one has that. Uh, so yeah, again, very, very strong os uh, offensive based unit. They can, I mean, he can hit, I mean, I saw, I think, drag, uh, DBZ World get him to like 20 million uh, with his active skill. So he's very, very good. And actually, let's rearrange this. I think, I mean, turn one, he is better than the blue fusions for sure. Uh, okay, let's go Thousand Day Goku. And actually, we'll talk about these two together. Okay, so you are gonna go, I would say, S tier. I've used uh, Tech Prime Battle Goku. Very, very good unit. Um, again, he suffers from the same issue as Spear Bomb Goku, where again, his 12 key greatly raises his defense. But again, his 18 key is gonna give him the bigger um, offensive stats. In other words, he's gonna hit much harder if you get his 24 to 18 key super attack. I mean, I've seen this guy hit. I think close to maybe 5 million for me. And again, this is a free to play LR that got his easy A, which is open to everybody. You just have to put in the effort and farm him up. But again, he is completely free to play. And honestly, the numbers that he puts up are absolutely ridiculous. I do think he's better than Demon King Piccolo. I think he's better than all these guys. He goes right there. Spirit Bomb Goku. Okay, let's talk about you. You're right here. Another unit that I even don't have in my box, I have not reached the 1000 day mark and it's going to take a really long time before I reach that 2000 day mark. So hopefully they don't make any more, you know, 5000 day mark, you know, unit because I'm not going to be getting them anytime soon. Uh, so let's take a look at his easy aid form. Again, very, very big uh, points for him is the fact that he's a all types leader, three key, 120%. Uh, the only downside to him would just be his super attack effects. Again, raising allies attack and defense by 20% is a good thing. The only issue is maybe to make him, you know, why not make him just super busted, make it so that he greatly raises his defense as well. You know, just go all out with this guy. Uh, cause again, you have to reach 2000 days to get him, you know, easy aid. And again, 30% is actually substantial buff. So again, this is still good. You know, this is good as well. That's just me being, you know, picky at this point. But just taking a quick look at his passive, he recovers HP, which is really, really nice. He gets additional defense per uh, key sphere. And then he also gets more attack, and he has 77% attack and defense. Uh, and then he has a 7% chance to perform a critical hit per key sphere. So really looking at him, this guy is really good. Honestly, I think he's the first free to play LR that's going to be Z tier. Looking at him, this guy is Z tier level. Um, obviously not summonable LR level. Actually, no, you're the first free to play. N never mind, you're the second. But yeah, that guy is Z tier just based off of his information. He is so good. Because again, I have no idea, you know, how good this guy really is. Because not many people will, will have him easy aid. But yeah, looking at his details, that guy is crazy good. And then we have, uh, let's go this unit. Let's take a look at his details. And let me just close that window and let's take a look at them. So this is the new Super Battle Road reward card. Um, they lead Goku's family 4 key 120%, so already amazing points for that. On their 12 key, they seal, which is really good. On their 18 key, they raise defense, which is nice. 59% defense at the start of turn, which is really, really good. 59% attack when performing a super attack. An additional 58% attack if it's an ultra super attack. He gets 5 key and recovers 8% HP at the end of the turn as third attacker in the turn. So that's um, really, really nice. 5 key and 8% uh, recovery. That's really good. And then his links are actually really, really nice. Again, all in the family defensive link. Uh, Z fighters, I think, is also... No, that's an attack link. And yeah, shocking speed. Very, very good. So overall, I think this unit is really good. Again, they're not like super, oh my god, like crazy busted. I think they are A tier. Again, same thing with, uh, I would say, Hercule. They're on the cusp in, in, in between A and S tier. It just really depends if you've used them. Personally, for me, I have not used them, but just based off of their information, 
they do appear to be a very solid unit, but not like, you know, S tier level. Let's close those tabs right here. And then the last unit, again, I'm not even going to say anything about it. Jiren is S tier. Jiren is S tier. He, in my opinion, I think he might be better than UI Goku. Uh, the only reason why I say that is because, again, UI Goku is RNG based. Again, many people might say, but you know what, it's a 70% chance. But again, I've heard of people who just cannot get his 70% chance to activate and die because of it. So, Jiren, I don't even need to say anything. 200% attack and defense. I've used a 55% Jiren, and they're at 150 plus K defense. While putting up over 3 million plus being super effective against all types, plus his active skill, which again is pretty hard to activate. Um, I usually don't even like I'll per like I'll purposely bring bad units in in order for it to be slower and for me to get hit more, but it still doesn't work. Jiren just kills everything, especially when you have him with God Topo around. It's just a disgusting, it's just a disgusting turn, disgustingly just so good. And Ah, I just can't say enough about Jiren. He's just that good. So anyways, guys, that is going to do for today's video. Uh, this is the tier list that I have. If you guys agree with it, let me uh, know down in the comments below. If you guys don't, uh, you know, maybe tell me which units you would put where. Um, overall, I think this is a very solid uh, tier list. Again, these are the only uh, LRs that have released in 2020. I did not include, you know, things like uh, AGL LR Gohan. I did not include Incel. I did not include the Super Saiyan 4s. Again, that was all in 2019. So again, these are all the 2020 LRs that we have. Of course, there are still some LRs that we're missing, like Turles, I think, would be in Z tier for sure. Bo- uh, no, not Bojack. Yeah, just Turles, I think, is the only LR that we're missing. Other than, like, the Dokkan Fest ones that are going to be coming for the 6 year anniversary. But again, let me know if you guys agree or not. And um, I'll see you guys next time.